Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. I am finally getting around to showing you guys an estate sale haul that I'm really proud of and I'm super excited for. Um, and there's an announcement coming at the end of this video. So please stick around to the end. Give us a like if you like this content and subscribe. So I also have a couple items from an antique mall. Let's start with an item that is not from any of those places, but I just had to show you before we pack it up and ship it. I got this at a thrift store in Louisville, my hometown. Um, and it is a Captain Morgan ice bucket, plastic. But I thought it was super cool because it's in the shape of a curling rock. Um, probably a promotional thing for the winter sports or um, winter Olympics or something. Or I don't know. I don't know the story behind it. But it sold for 30 bucks, And it was only like $3. So... Be on the lookout for those, and I just think it's an interesting find. So, there's also a couple items that Matthew got at an estate sale that I'm going to put right here. Hey guys, it's me, Matthew. Wanted to tell you about this cool sign. It's a Shiner beer sign, and it's a replica of the Texas historical marker for the Spotzel Brewery. I think I said that right. Um, really, really cool. It was on the very, very top shelf. Um, and I looked up and saw it and knew it had to have it and I got it for $10 and it sold in a couple days for $70 plus shipping. So super cool find. And this next item is Rat out of the cellar. Awesome CD sold for $12 in like two days. All right. So I really liked those items and I wanted you to see them before he shipped them off. So let's get into the estate sale haul. First, I wanna show you my favorite things. So we went to an estate sale in Dallas, Texas where uh, the husband or the man was the bassist for Genesis. And the wife, I believe, worked in a costume department or something. And she also had like her own crafts that she did to sell. Um, it's called Loose Fish Designs. And I thought these cats were super, super cool jazz cats um i think they all have a different name there we go loose fish and i believe they're still around but uh we went on we love going on the last days oh there's some information about it you can freeze it if you want to read it but anyways we love to go on some of the last days when it's like 50 percent off we got these cats for three dollars each and I'm not sure how much we want to sell them for, but I think they're really, 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 really well done. They remind me of these goth kids, um, maybe because of the button eyes. Um, kind of reminds me of Coraline. I don't know. They're very quirky, and cats are in right now. And speaking of, we also got these that she made. The Perfect Martini Olive. There's catnip in this little homemade olive, and it looks like she was selling them for $9.50. Y'all, we bought so, we bought all of them. I already gave three as a gift and I have two more to give as a gift, but y'all, I think we bought 75 of them. I No, actually, I think we spent $75 total, including these for $3 each. And I'll show you some more in a minute. But yeah, I think we can sell them between eight and $10. And I think they're worth that. I mean, cat products and dog products are just kind of expensive. And to have it home, be homemade, and I just think they're really, really cool. So, let's see what it says on the back. Every sophisticat deserves a perfect martini olive. Fluffy McRae, so cute. Anyways, let me show you the rest of them because, oh my goodness, we bought them all. So, we have these. Don't know how much we're going to sell them for. I think I already said that, but look at all of these martini olives. How cute. But that's not all. I mean, first of all, that's a lot. We got the whole box of them. Look, this is printed cardstock for them. And there's all of these olives that we can assemble. And it also comes with the plastic stuff for the martini cup. Um, let me go ahead and tell you the announcement now that we're here. Matthew and I went to the Antique Gallery in Mesquite yesterday, and we finally decided to open up an antique booth. Yay! Um, we've been wanting to for a long time. 
Uh, we will probably have videos of it once it's available, but these are some perfect items we can start selling in our antique booth. Okay, you know, I let the cat out of the bag a little early. So anyways, I thought that was a really cool find and I think they're really high quality and interesting. So let's get to the rest of the estate sale. Look at this big frog. It is a stuffed animal, but you put stuff in its mouth. I think you put toys in it. Um, let me take a look at it. I think we got it for $3. Don't see a tag, but it's just so me. And I think they, I think when I looked up solds, they sell quite frequently and for about $20. So I think that was a good price. Um, these were $1.50 each. They are Cowboys, Dallas Cowboys, uh, Thermoserve, which is a good brand to pick up. And we have a set of two. So I might sell as a set of two, just because I think that would, you know, boost it up and make it more worth to purchase. This was, I believe, 75 cents, this old Barks Cola bottle. No, actually it was 250 because it was half off of that. And it is super, super, super heavy. These are just some wings. I don't even know how much they cost, but I thought it was a really pretty Christmas ornament. My mom loves angel wings. She kind of has a thing for them. We all have our quirks and things that we like to buy. This was a cute little planter. I think this would be perfect for uh, Etsy. It was $4. And, um, you know, we, we want, we've been meaning to start an Etsy. But now that we have an antique booth, this might go in there. I think it's super adorable. Um, it kind of reminds me of Pokey Little Puppy, even though it's a cat. Um, these I actually bought for myself. Actually, there's just one. Um, but I've never seen it new and packaged. These are very useful. Um, it's like a plunger style to make sure you get all the stuff out of the, what do you, what you might call it, the measuring cup. So yeah, I just love it. And I probably got it for a dollar. Um, this is something Matthew went to a few estate sales by himself this past week. This is from the Tower of London, the Crown Jewels. And I think it's perfect time to list it because of the death in the royal family. Um, you know, RIP. But, it, you know, when people pass away, um, more people want to buy collectibles related to things like that. And it's it's for tribute, homage cool cool book it talks all about the crown jewels something i know nothing about but matthew's very into that um i think it can go for about 30 bucks you guys so he got it for like a dollar um now he got these they look vintage i don't know if they are they remind me of those little poodle uh uh bottle covers <laughs> um but these were free and the reason why they were free is they came with this he paid ten dollars for this leather golf bag and I don't really know the brand but we have sold a golf bag oh here it is nope well maybe I don't think that's I don't think that's a person's name maybe his name is Augusta um, no. we have sold a golf bag that I found at the dumpster once for $80 on Facebook marketplace but I think this could go between 60 and 80 and it came with these as a bonus now I think these will look cool to list together um, for maybe 20 bucks or something. We need to do more research. All right, these were super cheap, probably a dollar each. I don't even know. This one is actually full. It's Niagara Instant Laundry Starch. And how much do we love vintage packaging? This would be a great thing to put in our antique booth. You know, this is gonna be so fun. I just can't wait to show y'all our project and you know, hopefully it's successful and we can expand. We're just trying to expand everything we do. So I appreciate you watching our videos. Um, this was also from an antique. This The same uh, estate sale. How cute. It looks like a little handmade thing. What is in there? I think someone just stuck plastic up in him. Anyways, he's a cool dude. Look at that. I wonder what this used to do. I wonder if it was like an incense smoker. Oh, let's look at his head. I don't know. Anyways, I thought it was super cute. Moving right along, this is just a little doll I found for $3. Love his little shorts. What does it say? I think it said voodoo doll, but I don't think this is a voodoo doll. What does it say? Nope, just plush doll. I made that up. Never mind me. Uh, these are really cute. Remind me of 60s or 70s. It's like high quality resin. 
not high quality, but just heavy duty. And I think that's just the age that made them look like that. But it was $3 for the pair, and I actually really like them. I love her little instrument. Uh, these were from the same estate sale, Dallas Planting Manual. Matthew's super into gardening lately. And I thought this would be cool because it's about Dallas. And maybe we can find some Dallas-specific things or tips. I don't know. It was kind of a impulse purchase, but what isn't? Never Talk to Strangers by Irma Joyce. Golden book. I loved the illustrations, and this was probably just a dollar. I need to look it up, but I think I bought it for me. I do have kind of like a vintage children's book collection, kind of. Oh my gosh, I remember this. Look at that. A bee playing a bassoon. And you see a bee with a bass bassoon. And look at the little bugs and the mushrooms. So cute. I would love to frame these. Did I say that? Y'all, it's been a couple weeks since I made these videos. I'm getting rusty. Um, anyways, love that. I probably spent too much time on that book. Now, let's get into... Oh, no, we still have a few things left. Matthew went to this estate sale where he got these new in bag, uh, sold and left by Macy's, so you know it's good. These burrito blankets, how many of y'all have seen those burrito blankets? <laughs> Matthew said the person who checked them out was um, very jealous that he found these. Um, you can find them in places not from Macy's, but the fact that they are from Macy's might make them sell a little better because maybe they're more high quality. But anyways, like uh, $7.50 for both. No, no, no. I think they were $3 each, and maybe they can go for $25 to $40. These were $7.50 for both. They are brand new Miller Lite sweaters. And stuff like this sells really well, and it's really soft. You can see the tag right there. I love it. Great find, Matthew. And now I'm going to go to the few items we got at the antique mall that we're about to set up a booth for in. <laughs> this, super interesting to me at least, it is a glass bake made by McKee Hoddle. And what that means is like a hot water bottle, but you would put coffee in it. It's called like coffee hoddles. And this would fit in the teacup, I think. I'm missing the plastic lid, but um, just so cool. This was $5 and it's it's worth about $5. I've seen it between $5 and $50, <laughs> $5 and $15. But you know what? I don't have the lid and I think I'm going to buy just keep for myself. Um, this, I am so silly, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you've ever done this. And this is awful. As a reseller, it's like I'm committing a sin. Have you ever purchased something for really cheap and they ring it up wrong and you don't say anything because you have anxiety and you don't want to bother them? That's so silly. And then you think about it all day. Like this was in the 25 cent area, but it rang up for $2.50 and I should have told them, but I waited too long. <laughs> Why do I do that, y'all? Never again. I learned my lesson. Well, I've done that many times. But anyways, I didn't mind paying two fifty dollars for this. I thought this was cool. And yeah, it gave them more money. So uh, let me show you one more thing we got there. Matthew found this for $3, and I just love the art style. How cool is this? It's like a tea towel, but I want to display it as art. And look at those giant thistles. Super, super cool. And the cashier who was ringing us up loved it too. And she's like, oh, you bought the other one. I bought this one. And she showed us one that's completely different, but similar. Um, I just want to show y'all. You want to know what things I buy on eBay? I buy this kind of stuff. Betty Crocker's Mugga Lunch. <laughs> Spaghetti and sauce mix. Why did I want that? I think because I saw a vintage commercial on TikTok and just was like, I want something from it. <laughs> and then I have a banquet Salisbury steak dinner with, with what? Oh, with gravy, mashed potatoes, carrots, and peas for a hearty dinner to fill you up. And the last one I got, oh no, not that one. This one, Blue Dini. How many of you used to drink Kool-Aid Blue Dini? I just love it. It changes colors. Anyways, if you skip to the end, I already spilled the beans, but we are going to be opening up 
an antique booth in one of our favorite antique malls close to us. It's only about 14 minutes away. So stay tuned for updates on that. Uh, by the time this video comes out, I think we'll only have a week left. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Keep digging for treasure. And remember, it's not hoarding if you at least try to sell it. And hopefully we can sell it in our antique booth, right, Mr. Frog? Goodbye.